Hi, Virgo. All right, we're going to take a look at the sword energy, king of swords, masculine or feminine, air sign, in regards to you. So, Virgo, this king of swords is a very intentional person. They say what they mean. There is no skimping words. They're direct. They are clear, clear cut, crystal clear. They try very hard well, not to be offensive. They're not they're not um, overly warm, but this person is kind of cool, like maybe even is like a cool cat, so to speak. They kind of have this energy of someone who um, they don't really it's it's they don't try to be offensive, um, but they are totally honest, so they're quite candid um, in their speech. Uh, and very strategic so the things that they say to you are meant to get your goat you know it's the things they say are meant to stimulate you in some way give you food for thought but as far as their actions and intentions Virgo I feel like this this air sign I feel like they are looking to change their life and they want very much to have some type of a life with you, okay? With that Nine of Cups, I feel like this person, you're like a wish come true for them <laughs> in many ways. And they are intent to talk to you and to tell you this. I mean, I see this King of Swords moving really quickly with their words talking to you you may receive a message or some communication from this king of swords that they want you and they want to be with you they sit there with the moon and this person has some deep-seated insecurities and some secrets I feel like this person this air sign is struggling they could be struggling financially but they could also be in a poverty mindset where they're nothing without you and they feel like they're nothing without you and this is something that I feel like they have kept this deep down within like I said this the Sarah sign doesn't generally show their emotions um, I mean they do show anger <laughs> they can they can have the tendency to It's kind of like cold empathy. Um, they empathize, but in a very cold way. So it almost comes across as if this person doesn't have any emotions or feelings at times, just at times. But I feel like this person, this air sign is, um, they're ill, they worry. And they're worried deeply that you're not going to, um, want to be with them I feel like this person is struggling without you at this time and for some of you it might be just like oh that's awesome or uh, you know who cares it really just depends on who you are if you're dealing with this hair sign but um, they're very financially they could be very financially dependent on you they don't want to show it I feel like this air sign has a lot of pride And I also feel like they're seeking your help in some way. You bring the medicine, Virgo. You bring some kind of medicine to this person. You've got everything and they see that. Virgo, they see that you are the type of person where when you set out to do something, you just do it. You don't get distracted. You focus on what it is you need to do and you get the job done. And you make your dreams come true. You make your wishes come true. Material wealth. You do your very best to be in good health and have that abundance mindset. And they want that. There's something about you, Virgo, that this air sign believes is just incredible. And they feel 
a sense of lack without you, without you. And if they're in a relationship with someone else, it's a struggle and they're not showing that. They won't, they have this pride about them. And even though they have a tendency to be self-sufficient, they, they aren't right now, they're struggling. But they are showing up to you as like they got it all together. They're cool, calm, and collected. But that's not really the truth. The truth is you are a wish come true for them. You are the person that they feel makes them the happiest, that gives them a sense of comfort and warmth and life. And they, like I said, they kind of act like, oh, no, they're fine. They don't really need Virgo, but that's, a, that's all hidden. That's that hidden energy with the moon. And you might have a little bit of a sense of this, these hidden mysterious secrets that they keep. Virgo, you know somewhere deep down that this person, although they, they could if they really tried, they really can't, and you know that they need your help but you um, wouldn't dare say that to them. There might be a little bit of ego with this person <laughs> and you don't want to rock the boat, so to speak. Um, and just because someone is totally honest doesn't mean they're going to admit something. Okay. Um, and I'm hearing you might ask them how they're doing and they'll say, Oh, I'm doing great. Um, but they will reveal a little bit by saying, well, I'm doing great, but if, if I was in this other particular position or if I were with you, I'd probably be doing better. That's kind of a sign and that they're not doing as great as they claim. So this person wants things to change in their life. If they're with someone else, that other person may be just not happy with them. If they're not with someone else, uh, they're not happy on their own. And I see this air sign coming towards you. Um, they might be, I'm, right now I'm hearing an airplane. I don't know if you could hear it. There's a plane flying over or, um, yeah, it's pretty loud. So they may be flying to you by plane <laughs> or maybe a helicopter. Um, coming in your direction oh virgo it just feels like this person they want to be with you desperately they feel a bit lonely cold they may have even been left out in the cold by someone they're losing hope they have this lack of faith um they feel isolated they may even have some financial loss they feel isolated and alone. They need you. You bring them complete joy and happiness. If this is someone that you were with before, Virgo, it looks like this person is coming to terms with this, getting real with themselves because they're honest with others to getting honest with themselves or with themselves, this air sign about, you know, there's so much cold energy with the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. And look at you there at the left with the Nine of Cups. Warmth, generosity. You might be even a little bit smug, Virgo, when they come towards you. A little bit like, hmm, I told you so. I told you. Virgo, you know you can put throw a dig in now and then. I knew it. I knew you were, you thought you were going to go out there on your own and try to be, you know, oh, I'm fine. Everything's great. I'm really, Virgo, you know, whether or not you should accept this, I don't know. That's up to you. But they're definitely heading your way, heading in your direction. When? Oh, it could be tomorrow. It could be sometime before the year ends, but they're definitely going to be coming towards you to get their wishes fulfilled. Well, that sounds kind of opportunistic. And while the King of Swords, the air sign can be a bit opportunistic, it's more than that. 
They may even feel like there's a little regret with them. Um, they're definitely feeling abandoned or unloved and no one can love someone better than a Virgo, right? Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.